Just overshot a, a double single and uh, turned it into a, a triple and yeah, had a pretty bad knee injury. Yeah, so it was a pretty long, uh, long recovery. Um, I was lucky in the sense that uh, COVID hadn't totally hit in Canada yet, so I was able to get surgery um, February of 2020 and then start rehab pretty, pretty soon right after. And then COVID kind of moved in, and then it was uh, difficult just uh, with getting physio and treatment and stuff. But yeah, I got back on snow last January and had a really good return to snow process with uh, one of my coaches, Jordan Williams in Whistler. And yeah, we did, uh, I want to say around 50 days skiing last year and kind of started from the from the bottom and rebuilt my skiing all the way uh, till now back. Yeah, for sure have a big goals going into the Olympic year. Yeah, right now it's just trusting the process and trusting all the work that I put in. And yeah, hard to put a, a number on exactly, you know, podiums and uh, Olympic results and all that. But for right now, I just really want to stick to the process and, and uh, get back up to speed and, and keep progressing from there and, and focus on what I can do every day to show up uh, at the Olympics in February and, and it, it'd be my race to win. I don't think I would have had that result at the Olympics had I not had Kelsey to, you know, kind of teach me everything there is to know about ski cross and, and just to have someone you're really close to and have your best friend there all the time. It, it's just, uh, it made it a lot easier to share that stress. And yeah, I think that that day, everything really came together for us. We'd worked as hard as we possibly could, you know, our, our whole lives essentially leading up to that moment. And just to have your best friend there, that support right there, it was, yeah, pretty incredible. And she's still definitely very present in my life. We both live in Whistler right now and she's uh, pursuing other things right now but uh, still helping me from afar and most favorite course of the circuit would have to be uh, Idre in Sweden it's always uh, uh, quite a big course so huge jumps and everything but it's built so well and it's just uh, yeah like long landings big jumps and just um, a really really special place to race and the Swedish crowd is awesome too you know and then, of course, racing at home in Nikiska in Alberta or Blue Mountain in Ontario is always really special. The really cool thing about ski cross is every venue, every course is so different from each other and special in its own way. For me, coming from a pretty uh, extensive alpine background, the more turns and the more technical the course is a, a better advantage for me. The harder the features and everything, that's it really plays to uh, my skill set, kind of. Any longer course where you can kind of be tactical and, and rely on your technical abilities is an advantage for me, but my first podium ever on World Cup was actually in Switzerland at Arosa, where it's essentially a start race. So it's, uh, yeah, every course is so special and different. Yes, yeah, so I think there's quite a few athletes who, you know, could win on any given day. Um, number one, in my mind, I think a lot of people and, and her results, you know, uh, speak for themselves is really Sandra Naslin from Sweden. I think she ha kind of has a whole package. She's really dialed at all the start sections. She's really good at turns and, and uh, she's a really good tactical skier and doesn't panic and always, uh, yeah, skis quite well no matter what the course is. Um, Another one is uh, definitely Fanny Smith from Switzerland. She's, you know, she's one of the, uh, the OGs, if you will, in the sport and, and has had, you know, so much success uh, over, you know, the last 10 years plus. And she's always, uh, yeah, always someone uh, yeah, that you're trying to beat. And yeah, she's super aggressive skier, but uh, gives you your space and you know she's not gonna, she's not gonna back off at all. So yeah, she's definitely, uh, uh, yeah, one of the best for sure. And then uh, my teammate, Marielle Thompson, same thing, I think her results speak for herself and she has a, you know, a really good start. She's, I think, probably the best in terrain. She has really long legs and really uses it, uses them well kind of thing and absorbs jumps better than everyone, so limits her flight time. And, and uh, yeah, she's just a really strong, powerful girl and a really good skier. So I'd say, uh, yeah, those are, those are the top three to beat.